In this tutorial, we learn how to annotate tuples with Python. For this purpose, I define a variable named data and just like list, I annotate it with tuple. For assigning a value, I pass the value 1, 2 in the parentheses or 1, 2, 3 in the parentheses. Since we have annotated it with tuple, the data passed to it just has to be in the parentheses. For specifying the type, I can pass the type inside the bracket to the tuple. However, as you can see, the editor will throw an error saying that the tuple size mismatch expected 1 but received 2. So I have to pass an extra integer type to the bracket. This means that for each tuple position, I have to specify the type and pass the type to the tuple. For instance, for a tuple of length 3, I have to pass the type for each position of the tuple. That is an extra integer. Also, if I pass the data of another type to the tuple in a particular position, I have to specify its type. For instance, if I pass an, a string to the tuple in the position 4, I have to specify the type and pass it to the bracket as str. If I pass a wrong type for each position, the editor will throw an error saying that the type that you have annotated is not compatible with the data that you have passed in that particular position. Here the PyLens is throwing the error saying that the types are incompatible with each other. So if I pass the correct type in each position for each data passed to the tuple, the editor will not throw any error anymore. What if I have a tuple of length more than 5? For instance, I can pass integers of arbitrary length. What should I do in such cases? One solution would be to annotate the type for data at each position passed to the tuple. That is passing the integer type for position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. But that's kind of redundant because we are repeating the integer type or any mixed type. And the editor will throw an error saying tuple size mismatch expected 3 but received 7. In such cases we can specify the type and pass it as the first argument in the bracket and pass three dots as the second argument to the bracket. That is called ellipsis, and it means that we are passing tuple of arbitrary size of type integer. And if I pass a string in between the integers, I can use the pipe and pass the type as the first argument inside the brackets. And this means that a tuple of type integers and strings of arbitrary size. And if I pass a floating point number as an extra value to the tuple, I can again specify its type and pass it to the pipe inside the brackets as the first argument. And this means that a tuple of type integer and string and float of arbitrary size. This way you can avoid specifying the type for the data passed at each position for the tuple. That is having a tuple of arbitrary size and a mixed data type. And you have also increased the readability of your Python code. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not lose future content on Python typings. And also check out my Python typings for beginners playlist. As always, see you all later.